the planet Mercury will be appearing in the sky just on the western horizon there, about there. And now I'm going to put this camera on my giant Esprit 150 telescope and we'll take a look at the planet through that in live view. I can see it already. I'm putting it on the telescope now. Okay, I don't have Mercury for you yet, but I do have Venus and a very thin new moon. Look at that sliver of moon. That is definitely the newest moon phase I've ever seen through a telescope. Wow. Ah, okay, so this is Mercury. The nebulae are returning to our night sky, which is great news for small refractor and camera lens astrophotographers. Don't get me wrong, galaxy season was fun. I shot a number of them with my larger telescope. I got the Sunflower Galaxy, Needle Galaxy, M106, and the Blow Dryer Galaxy. So not a bad haul for a pretty cloudy spring. There's still time to finish up your galaxy projects here in early May, but the nebula are coming you'll start to see Cygnus and Scorpius rising here in the Northern Hemisphere by about midnight. If you follow me on Instagram, chances are you already knew that a backyard observatory is in the works. Rudy's very excited about it. So this is as far as we're at right now. It's a 12 by 12 floating deck. And then I've got a cutout here of a concrete pier with bolts or concrete footing for a pier. Uh, the tripod's just sitting up there right now. Uh, that's as far as I want to tell you at this point. I'll do a full reveal and tell the whole story when it's done. Ah, this deck is made from 100% Canadian pure overpriced lumber. It is new moon and I'll be shooting a new project tonight with the Canon EOS RA and the Radian Raptor 61. So that nice wide field of view at 275 millimeters on a full frame camera. Ooh, and those nebulae are back. I just love it. This project involves the Eagle Nebula. And before you roll your eyes, this time I'm framing it up with the, I don't see it photographed very often, NGC 6604, a beautiful emission nebula in its own right. So I'm going to be able to frame up NGC 6604, the Eagle Nebula, and even a little bit of the Omega Nebula at this field of view. Time for a little rundown of the equipment I'm using tonight. The telescope mount is a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Riding on top is the Radian Raptor 61 triplet APO with a 50 millimeter guide scope on top of that for auto guiding with a ZWO ASI 120mm mini guide camera. Inside of the filter drawer, inside the Raptor, is a Radian Triad Ultra quad band filter. The camera is, of course, the Canon EOS RA. The telescope mount is plugged into household AC power and then my image control software as astrophotography tool, which will control the exposures as well as the auto guiding via PHD2 guiding. You like the trench I dug here? Got a little bit of a wave to it running power out to the observatory. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'll shoot this nebula project using the Radian Tried Ultra filter, the quad band narrow band filter, which always kind of hurts to do during new moon. Ideally, I'd be collecting RGB broadband images during new moon, but from the city, it's just really tough, especially where this target is. It's like right into the light dome of the city. So unfortunately, I'll need to shoot with that narrow band assistance, if you will. May is a great time to check out the planet Mercury. It's not often that you get to observe our innermost planet in the solar system. It's always so close to the sun, but it actually gets far enough away this month where you can actually take a look at it. So get out there and look for a bright star in the dusk sky low in the west, and it's probably Mercury. The best part about this deck is that I'm a foot off the ground 
and it's just incredible how much lower that horizon feels from up here. I can definitely see lower into where the Milky Way core will be, which is just so exciting. I feel like I have a whole new sky. It's a really great spot and you can imagine how I had the perfect spot picked for putting this deck down and this was it. Here's a 12 second test exposure of the framing of my target here. So that's the Eagle Nebula, very bright in there. But um, just over here, you probably can't see it very well, but it's NGC 6604. And that is the other nebula I wanna include in the frame. And then uh, the Omega Nebula slash Swan Nebula is just over there. But these are power lines and uh, my neighbor's tree. So obviously we need to, this object to get a little higher in the sky before I actually start taking pictures. It is very late. It's after 2.30 a.m. on a Wednesday night, but that's what it takes to start photographing nebulae at this time of year. So what you can see on the screen here is this is a four minute exposure through the Canon EOS RA and the Radian Raptor 61. So you can see the Eagle Nebula here, NGC 6604 right here, and the Omega Nebula here. So you might be wondering why I framed it up this way. It looks a little bit off, but really this is what I'm going for here. NGC 6604 and the Eagle Nebula. Uh, right, almost right in the, the middle of the frame there. If I can get the Omega Nebula in a different sort of framing, a very wide framing that's fine too but really this is what I'm going for here so things are going well right now it's a beautiful clear night I'm very tired you know at least it's not freezing outside so it could be worse but this is good I'm happy I'm happy with these exposures and I think I should be able to create a nice image with this data <laughs> <laughs> 